Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with another um, craft with me sort of tutorial and I have been playing with envelopes again and I wanted to make just a kind of a fold out accordion envelope that you could put in your journal as a tuck spot. And you'd have space for journaling uh, in here and then there would be, let me just grab something. We can, you can put something in here um, and then you can have, whoops, a tag, uh, some sort of ephemera in here as well at the top. And then you would also have the option to put something in here at the top of this part of the envelope. Um, and so what I've done is, in this one, I didn't bother to put anything on the back because this is this is not for a clipping in. If you were just going to clip it in a journal, then I would cover the back. But um, because it's going to be attached in a journal, I figured there's no need to decorate the back. But I just thought I would very quickly show you how I put this together. It's really quick and easy. So let's get started. So what you're going to need um, are, um, I've got two of them so I thought we could decorate at the end. You're going to need two smaller envelopes, and you don't have to use the sizes that I'm using. Um, these just happen to be the envelopes I have on hand. So two of them have to be exactly the same size uh, to get the effect that I've done. And so these are about three and three quarters by six and a half. And one of them you need to cut the top off, just, just a sliver. And the other you need to cut the side away from the flap, you need to trim that off and that's just a very sliver as well. And then I've used a legal envelope and I just cut it to eight inches tall because I don't generally make, I have some journals that are nine inches or more but in height, but eight is a good standard size for a lot of the journals that I make. Okay, you're gonna need some, I've used coffee dyed paper and you're just gonna need to measure uh, for this one, the width across and a piece, one piece, width, width across and the height. This happens to be eight by just oh, almost four and a half. And um, then you're going to need two pieces. One, I've used Silhouette Paper by Tracy Fox, which I love. It's a wonderful canvas. Uh, and you measure it to the height of this, which is about six and a half. Um, times two. So this is almost, I actually cut it to 7.5 because then I can trim it. So six and a half by 7.5 and you're going to want one that's coffee stain paper and you're going to want one that's a light pattern paper and the Silhouette Papers by Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals are great and I will put the link for that below. Alright, let's get started. So mine are these self sticky ones. So you just want to stick that down and make sure it doesn't stick to the inside of the envelope. Sometimes you have to watch that. The occasional one doesn't want to play well. Uh, and then where do we have? This is the next one you want to use is the one with the opening at the top. So depending on where the opening is or on your envelope, you just want to attach it to the side. If, for example, the opening was down on that side, on that end of the envelope, you'd be attaching it on that side. But it's on this side, so we'll attach it over here. Okay, so I line them up like that, and then I just take the, uh, well, I'm going to try and take the paper off, and I'm going to also take my, I'm using art glitter glue. Um, you could probably use a glue stick for this as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit down here as well. So we're just going to stick that down like so. And there you are. Sorry, we've lost our light. Uh, but um, I think it's still okay on camera from what I can see. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, this is the opening, you're going to want to attach this to the side of the envelope, doing it the same way. So you just line them up from the bottom, like so. It's in there tight, and then you just pull off 
like so, and then put a line of glue in here and that just gets it glued into the, that blank space where there's no sticky. That just helps with that. So like so. So there we are. We've got ourselves a fold up, simple as that. Now you don't have to cover it the way I do. I, I like to put a full base on and it gives it, I think, a little bit more strength. Um, but um, it's up to you. You could just do collaging and it would probably be simpler uh, than trying to cut a piece that fits exactly. So the first piece I want to fit, I'm going to go for the um, this piece that has the uh, print on it because I want this front panel to have a print on it. That's what. That's the only reason I've gone that route. So what I want to do is I want to put a bead of glue right up here and then I just want to put kind of a skiff all the way across right to the edge, right to the edge of the top and then just a skiff through it so that your paper is going to stay down nice and solid. All right, so I work in here and make sure that the bottom is lined up and make sure that the paper is going in but leaving. You can see I've left about, sorry I'm just going to wipe, <laughs> put that down before that glue dries. I've left about an eighth of an inch in there and that just gives it some space. Uh, and then the other thing I want to do is, you can see I, I had more paper than I needed. So I'm just going to trim this like so and then I'm going to trim it here as well and you can see this envelope's up a little higher and that's because we cut a bit of the top of that other envelope off and that's fine no need to worry okay the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold that in half um, whoops. So that it folds on itself like that. So that's the front all covered. Uh, the next thing I do is I have a piece of um, paper, a coffee stain paper, I'm just moving that so you have see more contrast so you can actually see what I'm doing. I just put a skiff of glue across and so I get as close to the edge as I can with my glue and then I just do a, a breezy skiff up here um, and then I'm going to want to put match it up at the bottom into the side over here like so pick that up off my table <laughs> okay so very quick and easy, we've lost our light again. So you can probably guess what the next step is, we're going to go in here. And what I do with this piece of paper that I cut to the same size as the silhouette um, paper from Tracy, I fold it in half because I just find that I'm encumbering this joint a little bit more. The more paper I put in there, the harder it is for it to fold onto itself. So if you fold this first, it makes it a little bit uh, less bulky. So just a, a skiff of glue all the way on top. And then what I do, I try not to go over this edge. I did put one line down there and that's just so that the glue will stick in there and create a natural pocket. All right, just like so. And then we want to try and get this. I hold it up like this and I try and get that in there so that it's right in the crease, like so. I'm working around a tripod, so if I look goofy doing that, that's my reason why I look goofy. Um, and you can see it's a little longer. 
uh, and that's okay. We're just going to trim it. And there we go. And then it was the right height, and then you can see it's a little tall there. So I'm just going to go in here and cut it up a little bit, like so, and it's fine to here, no problems. Okay, so we're just going to press that. I actually, after I do this part, I set it under a book, a heavy couple of heavy books, and that just helps to define that crease there. Um, so you're going to want to, I put a little, to show that there are tuck spots, I take my two inch punch and I put a spot there. This one opens from the side, so I kind of eyeball where the center is or thereabouts. Do that, and then this one in the middle is also from the top. So I just put that where I think the middle is. Best to wait till it's completely dry to do that, but I'm living dangerously today. So there she is. That's one that comes from that side. I think the two other one, two I have come from the other side, and it's just because of where I actually clipped the envelope, as I said earlier. So we'll let this one dry, and let's decorate one or two, depending on how much time we have. How are we doing for time? I think we're good. Okay. So let's just see. I know I want... Um, I have some bigger pieces. Oh gosh, that's pretty. I have some bigger pieces. I have some pieces of paper over here as well, like some cut pieces of paper or torn that I might want to use. For example, I could, could do something like that and then put this on top, which makes it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. Don't like the top to look too regular. I hope everyone's doing well. We've had lots of rain this week, which is great for gardens and whatnot. So, so yeah, why don't we put that one there and then we'll just trim the edges that are sticking out. Um, Just using my glue and I think most of these edges are sticking off so I'm not going to bother to put a lot of glue on them. I think this one's okay. All right, let's give it a whirl. Like so. And this is just a, an image that I got from a book. Um, and they were pages that were gifted to me, so I can't really say uh, what the book, the name of the book was. Sorry about that. And then here, we're just going to have to trim it like so. Let's see if I can get that off. And like so. Okay, really like that. So that's just the front. Um, let's see, we probably want to, you know, you know we want a label. We're going to stick a Tracy Fox label down there because it is just a perfect fit. So we'll do that, like so. Okay, that's the front, the very front done. Um, I like the idea of, I have these, this, you know, I was showing you how that sticks in, but what if we create a tuck spot over here with this? I like the idea of making it go shorter. Normally I'd cut this with my, um, my proper cutter. But what if I did something like that? Will that stick out over the top? It's still good. It's going to look pretty, I think. And we can ink the bottom when we ink around. So 
So, and you could make this shorter if you want it, but I'm just going to ink, just checking to make sure I was on camera, in frame. And what if I put that here to the edge, like so. And so what that's creating is just a tuck spot, an extra tuck spot. Like we need an extra tuck spot with this, but you know, it just makes it fun. And then here, what else do we have in here? Oh, I like that. And I like that with the fern that's already on Tracy's, um, on Tracy's silhouette pattern. I don't think it needs a whole lot more fussing. I think I can get the whole thing on, so we'll see. So yeah, I hope you're all well. Like I said, we've had rain all week. Um, a little bit of sunshine today, so that's nice. And let's see, where can we put this? I'm going to have to turn that a little bit and hope, <laughs> hope I've got her on there. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, she fits okay. And do we want to put... It's really badly cut, I think. What if we put a little... Just one of these really nice labels of Tracy's on here. And like so. So that's decorated, that's decorated. And I think what I'd like to do, I have some butterflies. I think I would just like to put maybe a butterfly down here flying towards the top. Use all the things I've been busy cutting out. Okay. And th that gives you lots and lots of space for um, journaling. And like I said, this would be attached in my journal. And depending on where and how much space there was, I might leave a tuck spot here on this side or on that side. Okay, well, why don't we give it a ink it and see, see if that makes any difference to the look. And I apologize if this is, I know some people really hate to watch inking. I get it. <laughs> I really do. I get it. Okay. Just ink around there. Um, and down in here. I'm only going to ink one and then if we have time we can try and decorate the other one as well. I say if we have time. I mean, I have time to do it. The challenge is that I only get about 30 minutes and then my, my um, recording device just kicks out or, or puts it into two videos and I'm not I'm not someone who has the uh, ability to join them together. I don't have the uh, programs needed to do that. So does that look cute? And then we'll just do in here. As well. This all done. Leo's asleep in the window, so he's in his happy place. I'm just going to try and fold this back a little tiny bit. Put a little, doesn't want to fold back, so that's okay. So that's the first one. Um, and like I said, it would be a, you could grab like a tag could tuck in here. Or you can fit a tag in here as well. Just a 
second. There we go. Oh, I think it's too long. <laughs> there we go. We can fit one in here. Working around a tripod here. This is what I'll do. You could fit a, a tag in there. <laughs> okay. Let's see, how are we for time? Okay, 20 minutes. Let's just quickly decorate one of the others and um, we won't bother with inking. Okay. So, let's see, what have we got here? I've got some yellow. That's pretty. Nice dandelion. Why not? All right. We're going to set the dandelion in, and he fits in his totality, which is great. So, lots of glue on the back, and I'm going to try and line him up down here at the bottom because he's straight across there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So that looks nice. Let's see. What do we want for a, a tag? Or a label, I should say. Down here? If I put it up there, that's not bad. But I think I want it down... I think I want it down there, like that. So we'll just ink around, or not ink around, glue around. Very simple. When you have your pieces already cut out, it makes it really quick and easy for sure. Um, let's put, got this yellow one, and actually has some what look like dandelions. So I'm going to cut this off at the bottom about an inch and a bit and just glue that on I always put my hand where I don't want to be gluing and that helps me not goof up because it's easy to forget where you're working sometimes and put glue on the side you don't want to put the glue on. Okay, so there's that. What if we put a bigger label? We put like, there's a label there which is kind of cool. What if we did something like that? And I have some really big beautiful butterflies. I think they're graphics fairy. What if we did something like that? Maybe a little bit of paper behind it. Hmm. I don't think I want that paper. Let's see. So I'm just doing, trimming that. What if I put that there? Put this down here and have that. I think that would be good. Is an envelope flip out, maybe? Just making sure that it's not on the crease, like it's just on the inside of the crease. Okay. All right. And you could ink around these if you want it. Uh, totally up to you. So I've been very influenced by some of the great um, collagers. I think there's some wonderful people out there doing some wonderful things with collage. Rachel from Roxy Creations, Tracy Fox, um, Jessica Rapp, Gail, um, Sarah from the Mushroom Market. I know I'm forgetting somebody. I know it. Uh, and I apologize if I have. So, 
there's that and this is a good spot to ink as well in here I don't know that I did it on the other one and if you bend and you see you know you could use a little more glue in there you can just go and that's the nice thing about the art glitter glue with its tip you can get into those spots so there's that and then on this side we want to put another butterfly so this time let's have him come in from this side move my fingers out of the way Oops. You could put a tuck spot in there too if you want it as well. How are we for time? Oh, what the heck. Let's do a little inking because it just looks so much better, I think, um, around the edges if we just very quickly do a, a light bit of inking. It just makes, I think it makes all the difference. This is awkward working around a tripod. So just very quickly, this will make a big difference, I think. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking with it. So I just ink, uh, inked those parts. Whoops, we better ink over here. Just the bits that are visible, I can, I'll ink in here afterwards but just so that you can see. Aren't they cute? Like I think they're really neat, really fun, easy to do, and they have real impact. And you could easily, uh, if this flips out a bit more than you're liking, then you can just put a, a, a paper clip on there or something like that. But there's this one. And then this is where you can journal. And then this one as well. And you can journal in there. So there you go, guys, some envelope uh, flips, uh, flip pockets. Give it a whirl, super easy to make. Um, seriously, easy to make. It's just a matter of getting two envelopes of the same size that are smaller than your larger envelope. Uh, and this is the one we put together ourselves. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.